And Papillion La Vista practice report. First of all, let's start out with the breakfast burrito that they, uh, the booster club or parents gave out to kids. And they, I may have had a breakfast burrito, which was top notch, especially at, uh, I don't know, 1.30, 2 in the morning, whatever time it is. All right, here we go. Practice report. The knowns. Um, running back is a, a clear uh, known for Papillion La Vista, the Monarchs this year. Peyton Prestito comes back he rushed for 1178 yards and 10 touchdowns last year as a junior this year as a senior he might be the best back in uh, class a if not the metro and uh, he should have a huge year he's super shifty uh, catches the ball out of the backfield really well uh, really really liked what i saw from prestito today uh, at practice also jordan barrientos comes back he's a senior five 513 rushing yards last year and three touchdowns. So the running back position is uh, pretty dang good uh, for the Monarchs this year. Uh, quarterback, Taven Pearl uh, is a senior. He threw for 1,434 yards last year, 16 touchdowns. Uh, he is going to be pushed a little bit by Cameron Leggett, a sophomore. So there's a little bit of a, of a quarterback battle, but they feel good about both uh, quarterbacks should something happen or um, – even if uh, Pertle wins the job and, and uh, probably the front runner at this point. The top four returning pass catchers come back uh, for uh, 2023 based off of 2022 stats. So you have tight end Eric Ingerson headed to Pittsburgh. Uh, man, he's pretty good. Uh, really impressed with him and one his blocking ability but two his ability to catch passes uh, is something he had 175 yards last year receiving and only three touchdowns look for that to really dramatically improve but at the wide receiver position they return a lot uh, Isaac Parma, uh, Pamaran, sorry, as a junior, he had a team leading 450 yards and five touchdowns receiving last season. Owen Bogats is a as clean of a route runner as it gets. Uh, he had 257 yards receiving last year. And uh, Jordan Barrientos had 185 uh, receiving yards last year as well. So they can use him a little bit uh, at running back and at wide receiver. Safety, got to feel pretty good about that. Uh, Parman's coming back. He was the uh, team leader team leader with tackles last year with 82. And junior Cale Johnson had 66 tackles last year. He might be moving uh, to the inside or, or down in the box a little bit at outside linebacker, but those are positions that you feel good about. Let me tell you, the defensive line, really impressed with them. Eric Ingerson, uh, he, <laughs> he had 11 tackles for loss and four and a half sacks last year. That will likely uh, improve, I think, by a lot. Uh, opposite him at the other defensive end is um, you have Garen Mali, uh, Maley, excuse me, um, looks pretty good. Uh, big, long, strong. They both have two kind of bookend uh, ends. Uh, Logan Holtmeyer, sophomore defensive tackle, has not missed the weight room. Uh, he had five tackles for loss last year as a freshman. He is a big, strong dude in the middle. Uh, and then Dallas Hamilton will be a two-way player for them. Uh, he'll be starting center, uh, started at center last year for the Monarchs as well. But that interior, that front four uh, looks pretty good. The unknowns, linebacker is one, I think. They lose um, – their second leading tackler and Josh Robles. Uh, so Cale Johnson is going to move, like I said, from strong safety. Looks like he's going to be an outside linebacker. Uh, that will be uh, kind of a question of who fills kind of that role and, and uh, eats up those uh, tackles from Robles last year. And Cameron Hamilton's a senior. He'll probably be a middle linebacker. He's another one that could be in the conversation there. Offensive line is a, a bit of an unknown as well. You have uh, they lost Jace Wheeler, who is a multi-year starter, a, a really nice player at guard. So uh, Dallas Hamilton returns at center, like I said, and um, Garen uh, Ma Maley uh, also returns. So they return only two uh, starters from last year, which uh, got to fill those other three positions somewhere. But they look good. Um, I, I guess – uh, off the hoof, um, the 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 monarch up monarchs up front look look pretty good. Let me give you the breakout player I think that's going to have a really big year, and that is fullback um, Caden Bush. I, I really liked him. Uh, can catch the ball out of the backfield. Really powerful. Um, did some in in the inside run portion of practice. He was 
uh, pretty physical and, and pretty strong guy. I think he's got a chance to be the breakout player for the Monarchs.